Hi guys, Barbara Jennings here, and I have just been sitting here thinking that there's a lot of people out there that have not made their mortgage payment that are either in deferment or took the forbearance and wanted to kind of help some of you guys out and give you some reference points. Um, first off, couple different loans. So if you have been missing your payments, even if it's one payment, you're behind, you're in deferment, um, USDA mortgages, um, they offer repayment plans, loan modifications, and other uh, options to pay back your missed payments after uh, the forbearance. All you have to do is visit USDA COVID, C-O-V-I-D-19 resource page uh, for more information. So very helpful link there. You'll, you'll get some information there that can help you. Um, if you've got a VA loan, that is a U.S. Department of Veterans Affair. They also offer repayment plans, loan modifications, and other options to pay back your missed payments after a forbearance. <laughs> so um, for additional information there, you can go to VA Home Loans page or contact a Virginia Regional Loan Center at 877-827-3702. Those are two of the loans, three. <laughs> um, other loans, so if your loan is owned by another company other than you know some that I've already mentioned, um, such as a bank or a private investor, um, they also offer repayment plans for that forbearance. Um, basically, um, there's several ways that you can get help and regain your financial uh, footing again. Basically, you want to stay in contact with these banks, um, get information um, to, I didn't mention FHA loans. Let me step back a second. I knew I was forgetting <laughs> FHA loans because I know there's a lot of you guys out there that uh, have an FHA loan and you can visit Fannie Mae or Freddie Mac for more information there. You may uh, if you have an FHA loan, you may actually qualify for a COVID-19 standalone partial claim, which puts your uh, missed payments into an interest-free loan to be paid back when your mortgage is paid off or you no longer own the property similar to a deferral. Um, so if you don't qualify for that COVID-19 standalone partial claim, the FHA offers other options, including uh, loan modifications and repayment plans. So. Um, on all of these different loans, when you're talking about a modification, um, we can go back to when, back in 2005, when there was a lot of short sales and so forth around, that you got to be careful of what that uh, modification is. Most of the time, it's just a Band-Aid and it really does not help you in the long run. And you end up doing a short sale at the end of the day because the interest rates and different things in terms. So very, very, very important. Make sure if you're doing a loan modification, you read the documents. I can't stress this more to you guys. Uh, read what you're signing before you sign and know your options and the terms um, for those types of loans. Um, let's see, I talked about FHA. Um, also, you'll want to make sure that you document everything. Save every single piece of paper, save your statement, anything that's related to your mortgage, you want to uh, document conversations. So get yourself out a book and, you, you know, whatever date it is, you talk to the mortgage company. Who are you talking with? Times, everything. They record things. You need to record things to protect yourself. Um, and let's see. Check on your credit. That would be another thing that you should do. Um, if you see a mistake on your credit uh, report that basically you can take steps to have that corrected. Um, so you take everything, um, just document. Just make sure that you're documenting and you see an error, go ahead and make a phone call and reach out to those people and make sure that it's corrected. So this way, when you are ready to get a loan, you're not having to deal with that part and it could actually cost you your dream home. So we don't want that to happen. Um, contacting the loan officer, servicer, you got to make sure what are your options, you know, your financial situation, what options, the deferral, the repayment plan, what is being offered by that 
particular servicer. Um, you know, very, very important nowadays. And sometimes if you're, I didn't mention this, <laughs> there's just so many little details that are important. Um, but if your mortgage has an escrow account um, to store, that's where um, your mortgage company actually takes money out and they store it to pay property taxes, insurance, uh, HO, HOA fees. Um, so you got to make sure if you don't have an escrow account, you are ultimately responsible for making those payments during your forbearance. So guys, got to dig in and make the phone call and find out what are your options. Talk to people. If you don't know where to start, give me a call below. I can help and guide you. We've been through this before, folks. This isn't the first time that we have been into this situation. Um, I'm Barbara Jennings. I am very familiar. I've got a team. Uh, together we have a uh, close lots and lots of short sales not saying that that is your path but it may be so until you know your options until you know what your servicer is going to do how they're going to take care of that uh, deferment and be able to have that repayment um you got to talk to people you've got to document things you've got to know who's got your back who's got information for you who can help you um, and if for some reason you find yourself not able to keep up with the payments, you, you have a foreseeable um, financial hardship, uh, our team has closed over 3,700 short sales. We can help you. We've gotten um, the team. <laughs> the team has gotten money back for uh, these clients and not saying that every single person received relocation money, but there is a lot of people that have received relocation money. So if you're in this financial situation, having a hardship, not sure what to do, want to keep your home, don't keep your home, you're really not sure anything, um, just message me below or you can just give me a call at 540-840-1133. I'm Barbara Jennings. Um, very, very familiar with this process and how things work. And um, I know a lot of the times the loan modifications, they, like I said earlier, they're just a band-aid and they really didn't fix things. So I hope this gave you guys enough information to get on the phone with your servicer to find out really what's going on. So until next time, I'm Barbara Jennings. I am with eXp Realty, a local real estate professional. Uh, we're in it full time and we help buyers, we help sellers. So if we can help you, we love the opportunity to be able to do that. So until next time, guys, we'll see you later. Bye now.